Hi, hello everyone. It is Pip here, queenpipcards.com. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, hello. Oh, look, everybody's on and ready. Hi, Margaret. More afternoon, everybody. It is half past 12. It's Monday, which means it's my Moody Monday pick me up video here to cheer you up and give you some crafty inspiration throughout the week, especially on a Monday when it's all a bit gloomy and miserable. And it is cold here. So I've got my stamping up jumper on i've got my scarf on it is chilly hi jane hi joe nice to see you hope you all had a good weekend i hope joe you enjoyed the paper party this weekend i've had some great feedback from it um if you haven't didn't take part in our paper party and you don't know what i'm talking about um it's a big weekend of oof well i don't know how to call it because it goes from like friday morning all the way through friday night and then Saturday morning all the way through Saturday night. So it's it's like two full days of crafting fun. Um, I share it with my friend Katina in the States and we take turns doing Facebook Lives and recorded video content and tutorials. Everyone gets a pack of papers and some cardstock and embellishments. And we just spend the whole weekend crafting. It's been, you know, Friday and Saturday crafting. What more could you want? Uh, so hopefully everyone's enjoyed that. I've had, as I say, I've had some great feedback. So that was good. And um, yeah, we're looking forward now to the next one. <laughs> we will be coming out with a special offer uh, just for the tutorial part of that. Uh, obviously, because the paper packs have, you know, gone out now and everything's done. Um, and we will be doing some uh, special deals just for like a week when that launches. I don't know quite when I'm going to launch it yet. Uh, I just have to make... Uh, make sure that we've got all the video content ready uh, and make sure that it's available on my website. So that's coming up soon um, and we'll have another paper party in June. But in the meantime, before that, we have our spring retreat, which is another two days. But that's another two full on days, Saturday and Sunday, Zooming every day, chatting along. You don't have to come on to the Zoom if you're if you, you know, if you want to lurk in the background, that's perfectly OK, too. Um, but yeah, we do have a lot of fun on our weekend retreats. So uh, what have we got? Um, Leslie says it was brilliant. Joe says she was enjoyed watching, but she'll be making some soon. I know you had a very hard weekend, didn't you, Joe? So I'm glad you could at least watch along some of it. Ah, we have we have um, we have Jean Janine. Bonjour, Janine. Hello. Nice to see you. Uh, Louise is on and um, Joe says roll on June. Yay. <laughs> yeah, another par paper party in June. You'll like that, I'm sure. OK, so. Wow, we've got lots of you on this morning already. That's great. Or this afternoon, I should say already. So that's good. Today, we're going to be doing some driving by stuff. Um, hey, hi, Barry. Nice to see you. Uh, we're going to be doing some driving by stuff. So this is a stamp set that comes free with Celebration when you spend £45 in my store. Um, I love it through Celebration. It only lasts for two months. January, gone already. So we've just got February left. Um, up until the 28th, while supplies last, we have some special offers going on. So if you spend 45, any multiple of 45, basically, so it's 45, 90, 135, whatever, you get to choose stuff from the celebration brochure. And this one has proved to be quite popular. And I was quite surprised that this was so popular. I didn't think it was going to be quite as popular as it has turned out to be. I mean, I liked it. I thought it was cute. Um, but yeah, it's turned out to be more popular than even I expected. So it's called Driving By. It's got three cars on it this great van which is you know camper vans are us um all over the place it says oh thanks which i love because i say that a lot you've got style obviously we've got style and driving by just to say hi so i'm going to take me off the screen so that we can see a little bit better how things are going okay so oh look hi we've got loads of people so lisa's on paula's on bev's on oh and you're watching us on youtube thank you barry that's lovely <laughs> <laughs> that's cool so it's nice to have it was nice to have people watching on youtube as well as on um facebook okay so this is the card that i shared on my i'm trying to get my lighting sorted out here for some reason my phone's not picking out today very well uh so this is the card i um shared on the sort of spotlight to share that it was coming live um and that this was happening today so and it is a spotlight card, but in a different way to a normal spotlight. 
So I'm going to do a normal spotlight. Then we're going to play with some more with the card. I'm going to show you some more designs that I've made. And then we're going to go from there. So are we all ready? Bit of stamping coming along. Okay, let's get cracking. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose my car. Which one should I do this time for spotlighting? I might do this one. Let's do this one. And then we can go um, driving by just to say hi. Like that one. Um, you can also, of course, mix and match it. So another great stamp to mix and match it with at the moment is the Special Moments, which is another celebration stamp set. This one's a £90, but look at all the different um, stuff that you get on there, all the different wording. So you could also, also mix and match it with that. OK, so let's get going with this. Pop that on there. And then we'll stick this one on here. This is a nice, easy one to get going. So I'm going to start off as I... Well, I tend to do. Uh, we're going to do a little note card. It's going to be a really, really simple note card. Uh, we'll just fold that in half. Make sure that's folded right. Yep. Get a little bone folder out. Give it a bit of a score. So I think this would be good for men's cards, right? Men's birthday cards. Don't we have a lot of hassle trying to get men's birthday cards going? I know I do. Because, you know, they just, they're just tricky now i've pulled out here as well some papers from uh, this is the sunshine and rainbows yet another celebrations um set offer so you can get these instead and i'm just trying to you know once you've got the drive by driving by you might want to pick some of these lovely papers to go with it oh i quite like that one Oof, that's a bit zizzy let's go with that one i quite like that although i'm not sure i've got the colors to go with that i've got the colors to go with that but no it's a bit zizzy um Oh, that's quite nice. Let's do that one. OK, so we're going to do this. We're going to just cut some of this paper down um, just so that it's the right size to fit onto the note card. Oh, that bag has had it. There we go. Let's put it over there. I wish I do wish sometimes stamping up would do bags that are like six by six so that we can got stuff because their cello bags are so nice and thick and they don't tend to rip. Um, and then that way we've got somewhere to put things in. That would be cool. So. Um, these are the normal standard um, sizes that I do for my uh, note cards. It will be up on the blog later this week, so you'll be able to check it there. Then I need a piece of basic white cardstock, uh, which I'm going to use for my stamping. So I just want to see roughly what size that is. It's about there. It's about there. What's that? About six. Hmm. Could maybe even go a little bit oops a little bit smaller let's do a little bit smaller so this is a card for somebody who's just starting out in stamping or wants something really quick and easy to do and you can see i'm really not paying any attention to how else. no i'm not paying any attention to how i'm measuring it i'm just going by eye this is a this is a by eye card <laughs> uh okay we're going to need another piece of that as well so I'll just bring a little bit of that back so I'm going to stamp this in Memento. So we have that black. Could do it in Night of Navy or we could do it in Misty Moonlight. Could do it in any of the colours that works. But I'm doing it in black because that's what we'll be using for our colouring. Because we're going to be using the blends. So if I pop this down here like this. Just a little bit up actually. Like so. There we go. I'm just going to leave that like that. And that should fit on here with a bit of a board around it. Not masses, but a little bit, just enough. Pop that on there. That'll go on there. See how it's coming together? That's going to go on there. That's going to go on there. That's going to go on there. Da -da. Okay, so next we need to stamp it again. This is true spotlighting. Oh, look, I've got myself covered in ink. <laughs> well, there you go. A week's not started unless you're covered in ink, is it really? So... <laughs> So what I've done on my previous card is not technically full spotlighting, but I call it spotlighting. You know, what else are we going to call it, quite frankly? OK, uh, so I've got yellows. Oh, I didn't bring my greens over. Never mind, I've got my, I've got my Bermuda Bay. That'll do. All right, so I'm going to make this a nice a bright yellow car. So this is Daffodil Delight. And I'm colouring it in very roughly. 
you're like, oh my goodness, what's she doing? Don't panic, it's all good. And then I'm going to go over it with my um, light. And that will just sort of add a bit of detailing to it, really. A bit of highlights here and there. Probably not in the right place, but hey-hey. We're going for quick and easy, right? We're not going for details and definition. Now, I've got a pool party here, which I'm just going to use to do the windscreen. And I've got my smoky slate. And I'm going to do that on my tyres. So this is the, is this the dark? No, this is the light. Okay, so I've got the light, the light in the middle. I don't even know if I need to do all of this. And you'll see why I'm saying that in a minute. Okay, there we go. And then we'll bring in a tiny, tiny bit of Bermuda Bay. And I don't think this is going to show, but we'll see. Well, we can choose where it goes, so we can make it if we want to. And all of that will become clear in a moment. Right. OK. <laughs> now, the one thing I am going to do, though, which will take it and make it not really a spotlight, but we'll see in a second. You'll see in a minute what I mean, um, is I'm going to colour my balloons. Because you can't have balloons on a card and not colour them. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just not right. So we'll do two of these in Bermuda Bay and one of these in the dark yellow. This is Daffodil Delight. It should actually be So Saffron, I think, but never mind. My So Saffron has died, as I discovered at the weekend. It's completely run out. It's gone very dry and horrible. OK, so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring out a punch. Now, I keep all my old punches. You could do it with a die cut if you haven't got this punch. But to make it a true spotlight, you're you're just spotlighting one area. So you should just take that piece. Make sure it's straight, Pip. It should be so sort of straight. There we go. Take that piece. And then you glue that over this piece. Okay, and then that becomes your spotlight like so when it's in line so we'll use a bit of um you can use uh dimensionals if you want to give it a pop-up so we'll do that in a sec so quickly you can see how easily you can add just a spot of, of uh, i think i need a new glue Ugh, that's gonna be an issue um quickly you can see how you can make a card with just that pop of color just to make it stand out and if you want to you can now Put in your sentiment here. I'm not sure if that's going to fit. Or oh, it might be tight. I'm going to do that on a piece of card just to be sure. This we will glue onto our note card. There we go. Like so. And I'm bringing it right the way over to the side. And then that way we get more colour all the way around. This one... You can either glue it straight on. In fact, I think I am going to glue it straight on because it's a note card and the envelopes can sometimes be a little bit tight. So this, we kind of line up. You've got to line up everything. Make sure it's actually... That looks okay. Oop, no, that tires a bit off. See what I mean? So you make sure that your lines are in on the tires, on the strings. Everything's got to match on the bonnet. Yeah, there we go. So that is a true spotlight card in the sense that you're just spotlighting that piece. But I've kind of blown it by putting the balloons on, but I can't help myself. It's got to be done. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad. I love that. See, I love that when somebody finds something new. Not seen it before. Smashing. Good. I'm glad. Um, so, yeah, it's very simple, but very, very effective. You know, it kind of draws the eye in. So then we can stamp the sentiment onto um, just onto a scrap. Now, colour wise, I think it's going to have to be in Bermuda Bay. 
And the good thing is, even though Bermuda Bay is not actually in these uh, rainbows, it's um, just one tone up from pool party. So, in fact, two tones up because we've got Coast Banner in the middle. So it, it works really well with it because it's it's in that same kind of colour range. And then we just chop that off. Chop that down close. That's a little crooked bit. Not bad though. Chop that down close. And then you can decide whether you want to um, pop that up on dimensionals or not. I think I'm just going to leave it all flat. Just have it all flat for once. Not like me, I know. You know I love my Stampin' Dimensionals, but we'll just go flat for a second. See how that looks. So there we go. So that was a proper, that's like a, a proper spotlight card. Put that just over there. And you could take another bit of paper and you could cover it up, but this is just a, a really nice, simple note card and then obviously obviously don't want any naked envelopes so i would do the same car i wouldn't necessarily color him in just stamped him roughly just sort of driving on driving on the edge of that probably needed a bit more but it's kind of obvious that it's a car there we go so then that becomes our note card and envelope how quick was that? This has got to be my quickest live yet. Uh, 10 to 20 minutes. I haven't finished yet. Don't worry. <laughs> do not panic. I haven't finished yet. So that is just one way that you can do the spotlight technique. OK, the other way is how I did it before to make it more of a whole feature of a card. So in this one, I used the whole image as a spotlight and then I did pop this one up on Stampin' Dimensionals, obviously. Uh, popped in some of the wording and then just stamped the rest randomly in memento. So this is just the only one that's popped up. I could have made it this one and moved this down. Um, so you can have it anywhere on your image if you wanted to. So that's another way of spotlighting. So should we do one like that? Should we do one like that? I don't know. It's up to you guys. What do you think? Make it a little bit smaller with a spotlight. Not smaller, I mean, make more of the backing show through. I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek of some of the other some other stuff that we did at the weekend. If I can turn around without yanking myself out of the chair. I quite like this. I like that too. See, that makes it good. So this one's got like little hearts going all the way around the back, but you can't really see it. So I'd kind of like to show those off a little bit better. What do we think? Do we want to make another one? I've got a couple more things to show you as well. In which case, oh, maybe a rainbow. Oh, maybe we make it with the darker blue. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look, we got, so we've got those. They look like candy corn. We've got these, I like these in the dark blue. Let's try with this one, shall we? Now, what color cardstock can I go with that? How about, let's have a look. Let's have, ooh, did it go with gorgeous grape? You know I love a bit of gorgeous grape. Hmm, maybe not. I need a magenta again. Where's my magenta's gone? I'm sure I have another one up here. That's polished pink. Polished pink. No, where's my magenta gone? Ooh. Okay, cool party. Maybe we have to do a pool party. Oh, we got a Bermuda Bay. Hold, hold, hold the phone. There we go. That looks lush. That looks very nice. I like that very much. Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> you can get involved, you know. You can tell me which one you prefer, but I think that looks best so far. Okay, so let's chop that down. So who's done the spotlight technique? Anybody done this? Anybody got driving by? Let me know. Let me know if you've got driving by already and if you're enjoying driving by. 
which is a completely different thing to a drive-by, just, you know, so we don't get mixed up. Now, I think I need a small piece of white, but I'm thinking I might even need a small, I want a smaller piece. So I'm not going to use one of my layers I've already got. Oops. I'm going to, okay, not use that piece because it's got a hole take, taken out of it. I'm going to go and grab a new piece and we'll chop up. Okay. Okay, so Bev says she's got it, but she's not used it yet. Ah, well, see lots of ideas here for you then. And an idea at the weekend as well. So much fun. Right, I'm going down a whole step here. So this is going to be there. Just because I want more of that background showing. I just think it needs it needs to show. I want it showing. Look at that. See, that's so much nicer, isn't it? Much, much better. Much, much better. And then pop that up on there. Yummy. Oh, it's all going swimmingly well. Okay. Have a swig of my tea. Margaret says she's got the stamp set, but she's never done the spotlight technique. Oh, well, there you go. See, so today we're learning all kinds of new things and lots of things for you to try out. I love that. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so if we wanted to make something a little bit different, she says, going off piste completely in the middle of a live, because, you know, I do that quite a lot. Um, let's pull out, rather than black, let's pull out our misty moonlight, because it goes with misty moonlight, because that's what that colour is, so that'll look nice. So, the way you work this out is we need all our stamps, we need all our cards. I'm still going to do this one for the colouring, purely because it's quicker than doing this little one. Or at least I think it is. Because you've got lots of little presents and you've got to get them all right. And, you know, for me, it has to be, like, correct. <laughs> um, will that one go on there? That'll go on there. Excellent. So we're going to do this one. I want to put him a little bit more sort of in the middle-ish here. And I use my grid paper. Can you see? I don't know if you can see that. Let me move this up a bit. I am lining up my card with my grid paper so I can kind of see. You can do this on the Stamparatus as well. But you know me, I like to online. I like to wing it. So <laughs> there's that one. Now, once we've got that one, we can build out from there. So we can start off with this guy over here. And again, following the lines on the grid paper. And this guy's going to come in ooh, no, underneath there. And then we've got this one. He's going to come in here. And I love this because they're all sort of going at sixes and sevens. It reminds me a little bit of Dastardly and Muttley um, with the wacky races, you know? I think so, just a little bit. I kind of want Penelope pit stop whizzing around. And then we'll do the camper van down there. And we'll do the camper van wheels up here. Oops, straighten myself up again. Sorry, I just hit that with my glasses. <laughs> just hit the camera with my glasses because I'm peering over the top. Right, now then, we can stick this one in here. Like so. We can put some balloons just sort of trailing down there. And then to get something in there that's not, I think it's going to have to be the Herbie again. But just the back tyre. So you don't really know which one it is. There we go. That looks good. Okay, so this is our spotlight one. So that's now your card front done. Now we're going to take a piece of, no, that's an envelope, not the envelope pip, piece of basic white. Here we go. And this one I am going to stamp in uh, basic, uh, in the memento, in the black. But it won't really show because we're going to colour it. So by the time you've got it off and onto your cardstock, it'll look fine. 
I'm also using this one because it's the easiest one to cut out. <laughs> because, especially on camera, because it's my eyes aren't the best. Um, and I need to be able to see all the intricate little bits and pieces if I'm going to cut it. So, there we go. All righty. So, that's our, oh, sorry, knocked you again. That's our little car. So, now we're going to colour. And I've got magenta, Bermuda. Oops. Oh, I've also got pool party and I've also got pumpkin pie, which I now, I know it sounds a bit weird, but I think it might look quite good on some trim. So <laughs> here we go. Uh, quick and easy colouring on the windscreens. This is just so that they're not white because you don't really want too much white. So it sort of looks like the mirror, that, like the glass is shining back at you. So, got that in. Then we'll have a Bermuda, dark Bermuda Bay. Dark Bermuda Bay at the bottom, I think. So, dark Bermuda Bay coming up here. Along here. Possibly up as far as this. See, my eyes aren't great. <laughs> okay, let's try there. Then I want to go to Light Bermuda Bay. And again, I'm not being particularly careful. If I was colouring this normally, I might take a little longer over this. I would take a little longer over this um, just to maybe get some depth of colour. Oh, look, I've gone over it again. It's all right. It's going to be cut out. It's OK. It's OK. Um, I'm thinking I want a magenta roof. Or do I just want magenta trim? Actually, I might just go magenta trim. Oh, now look at that. That is such a colour. Oh, what's happened there? Ugh, I've got a hair from my memento stuck in it. That's not so good. Okay, that'll just have to be a bit darker. It'll be fine. Note to self, clean the hairs off my memento. So Jane says that she's not got the stamps, but she thinks she's done spotlighting before. Well, that's good. I mean, you can do it with lots of different stamps, flowers, um, animals, people, everything. You can do it with any, any stamp. Okay. Okay, I got a bit carried away with my Bermuda Bay there as well, so it's not quite straight, but never mind. And then I'm going to pop a little bit of dark Bermuda Bay right at the top. Or maybe pool party again. Oh, actually, no, let's do that. Let's do a bit of light. Light Bermuda Bay just here, so it takes it away from the windows. And then pool party going up here. Blends that in nicely. Just a smidge of the really pale stuff at the top. There we go. Excellent. So now we have our smoky slate. Uh, this is the light. I'm going to use that for the chrome. And I'm going to pop that in the middle there. Dark on the tyres. And you don't need to ground this one, you know, you don't need to put any ground in it because we're cutting it out and sticking it on the card. I love blends because you can just do like really basic colouring with them or you can turn them into masterpieces. I'm doing just a little bit darker under the weather wheel arches. With some dots. 
feel like this needs a bit more more blending going on here. Is this the dark? No, it's the light. Just adding a bit more of a light in here. Okay, and then if you really want to lighten it all up, you just go over it with a pool party, but we won't do that. And then I'm going to take the pumpkin pie. Oh, it's a bit tangy. Is that a word? I don't know, but I know what I mean. It's a bit like, oh, really opposite to the magenta madness, but actually quite scrummy. And then we'll use that as a tail light or a rear light, as we call it. And then I'll pop a little bit of daffodil. Oops, no, I won't because that's popped out. Come on. Ding, 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 ding. There, just tiny. It's all in the details, guys. All in the details. Right. Let's put the blends away. And then, if I'd have been thinking about it, I would have done a here's a blue Peter one I did earlier, but I wasn't thinking about it. And now I've lost my scissors. Where did I need them? You need your trusty snips and then we're going to just start cutting this out. Now I'm just cutting roughly to start with because I just want to get it out from the main bit of paper. So that helps you cut better. And then we're going to go close into the line. So I'm not trying to leave white around the edges of this. Why? because it's stamped onto the cardstock and we want it to be almost showing that blue edge, you know. Hopefully you can see this. Cutting whoops, right around here. See what I mean? This is way easier than cutting all those little presents out. I mean, I know you've got to go around the little tail light button, the little pipe thing here, exhaust pipe, or whatever it is, but it's still easier. I mean, I have enjoyed cutting them out. You'll see in a minute. I've got more to show you with the um, with the Herbie cars. I, I do love cutting them out. It's quite relaxing, but probably not the most interesting thing for you to see on a live video. So, so you know, I try not to get you too bored. So we'll go quickly. Plus, I want to show you how fast you can actually do this. There we go. So that's that one done. Not bad at all, huh? get rid of your scrappy bits now we're going to put it all together very quickly and easily if you want to see some of the things that i take more time over that's the stuff that i do at retreats because <laughs> we've got a whole weekend or a whole two days you know paper party plays and all that i, I mean our cards are pretty simple but we do paper plays which are a little bit more complicated and then we do some lives with different things on. Some of Tina's worries some people. <laughs> we had a few gasps this weekend when Tina started cutting up her, car, up her stamps. But, you know, it was fine. And it is fine. I do it myself sometimes. Okay, so let's close that one down. This one we're going to pop up. I still like that other side as well. But we'll just go with this to start off with. Okay. Oh, see, look at those colours together, aren't they? Just glorious. Okay. And then this little guy is going to go in here. We're going to pop him up with dimensionals. Bev says she's not done spotlighting before, but it looks effective. It is. Um, I think it just helps to show off just show off the one thing that you've coloured even more because you've not got anything else going on in the in the card, if you know what I mean. I'll pop him on there. There we go. So a different spotlight, but nonetheless a spotlight, if you see what I mean. So we've got this one, which is the more traditional, where you punch a piece out or die cut a piece out. So you've just got some coloured and not the rest. Or this one where we've popped him up on just one out of a bunch of other images. So, <laughs> oh, the seat. Joe, that is an ever, ever never ending, never ending choice. 
Joe says, my problem with the papers is you can never choose which side you like best. That's why they at least always give you um, two or more, which I like. You can have one for either side. So that's good. <laughs> but yes, I agree. So there's those two cards. So we've got this one, which was the original. And I just popped a, a label on that. Happy birthday. So you could make it whatever you liked. And then this one um, is just my little mini card, note card and envelope because we like those. OK, don't forget, we're going to be giving one of these away at the end. Always do. Well, not always. But sometimes we do. Most times we do. I've been playing with my new giveaway tools. So I quite like giving stuff away at the moment. So, <laughs> and then I promised I'd show you some other stuff. So uh one of the other cards that i made was this one uh which uses the gorgeous simply marvelous papers hey hi jackie yeah you just caught us i love the spotlight technique it's so much fun isn't it this uses the reverse stamping technique and i've got um there's a video up on my youtube about that and if you are in my normal weekly newsletters if you get my treats on tuesday this will be your tutorial tomorrow ha -ha. so that's good and then i couldn't resist but play with the new slimline card envelopes now these are not uk slimline card size just want to warn you okay oh it looks like my background um these are american size slimline so they're not dl as we know it okay um, so you have to cut your cardstock a little bit differently. But this one I decided to make with the Herbie with all different colours. And this paper is from Flowering Fields, would you believe? But on the other side of it, it's got this gorgeous sort of green to blue. And yes, most people would use that as green to sky. But you know me, I'm not most people. Uh, and then I just did the driving by to say hi embossed in white. So it just sort of popped out a little bit and went with the slimline envelope so just be warned you can you you know if you get the card the envelopes you'll have to just trim your cards to a slightly different size so nine centimeters for each part so 18 um and then i did 21 you could probably get away with 21 and a half but i didn't want it to be tight tight up against the envelope envelope like the top of the envelope but you could probably half a, half a centimeter out of that so 21 and a half but if you do 21 and a half you've got to cut your paper the other way around right if you do 21 you can get it out of half, like one half and then you just do 18 and you've got a decent size left so that's just me being frugal hi atriana hello you're crafting during your lunch hour at work oh dear you need to, you should have brought yours with you with you oh that's such a shame when that happens but you know the good thing is when it dries it's it's almost easier sometimes so yes yeah, so that was just another one to show you the little cars um cutting them out what they could look like and how they go with our new envelopes so there we go i think that's it for today apart from our draw so as i say somebody's going to win something we like doing i love doing this giveaway make sure that you've put your comments in because everyone who comments gets in the draw okay i had to make this one didn't i my favorite colors gorgeous grape oh it's just blue. just love 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 it okay so let us now pull up our get me get my keyboard out and we're going to go in here and we're going to do giveaway Okay, so I'm going to share a screen, share screen, that screen, share, there we go. So I'm going to choose a broadcast, oh look at that, it's me doing this one. Are we ready? We're going to start collecting comments. We've got 13 entries today, that's cool. 13 comments, individual, unique people. So here comes the draw. Da -dun -da -dun -da -dun -da -dun -da and it is Barry. <laughs> hey, see, it's good. Jumping on and doing that. Hey, Barry's the winner. Well done. Fantastic. OK, so, Barry, I will be um, sending a card to you. Oh, I have to choose which one I want to send you now. Well, we'll we'll work that one out. If you've got a favourite, 
pop it in the comments let us know all righty so there we go i don't know why i'm tidying them away <laughs> There we go, everyone. So that's my tutorial and um, Media Monday pick me up video for this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. And don't forget, I'm here every week. I will see you again next week where we'll be playing with something else new. Um, I did speak to one of my customers in the week and she said she wanted it last week. And she said, oh, I could really do with something on blending, br blending masks, br blending brushes and masks. So you never know. I might just get the masks out next week and we can have some fun. Um, oh, <laughs> Barry, back in, back in. Are you sure, Barry? I don't mind sending you a card. I love sending everybody a card. But if you're sure, he says it twice. So I'm going to do it again. OK. All right. We'll do it again. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Let's see. How, how do I do this? I need to share again. That's because Barry's in our team. Bless him. <laughs> OK. Did I share that? Oh, that looks a bit weird. Hang on. Why has it gone like that? There we go. I'm assuming you can still hear me. OK, here we go. Let's do this again. Then. I can't take you out, though. So if it comes back again, you, then that's it. It's going to be you. <laughs> oh, it was nearly. Look, it was nearly. Oh, look, it's Leslie. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. I'm not drawing again, Leslie. So you're getting it. <laughs> All righty. So let's stop sharing. There we go. Hopefully you could see that. Oh, bless you. Thank you, Barry. All righty. So next week, as I say, I might do some more. Um, let's do this. I might do some more um, blending and stuff. Who knows? Who knows what I'm going to decide that I want to do during the week? Um, it's never set in stone. <laughs> Things move and change. But yeah, now I might try and do some a bit, uh, to try and do some online blending with you guys. As long as you don't think it's going to be too boring. Um and take you, uh, you know, having to watch too long. But um, we'll see. This was a short one this week, so we can do a bit longer next week. Anyway, have fun. All the links and everything are below. If you'd like to um, find out more about crafting, if you'd like to subscribe to my weekly newsletters, um, if you want to find out more about crafting, do that. If you're if you're kind of a newbie here and you're sort of like, oh, I don't know how you did any of that stuff, um, then subscribe to the I'm, I'm new and i need help with card sizing do that one first you'll automatically come into my weekly newsletters um after a couple of introductory helpful hints and tips um emails and videos for you so do that first um and yeah i'll see you again soon take care for now bye bye <laughs>